So read your questions. First, when you read your question, what do you need to take note? You must very clear. A continuous random variable, continuous concept, graphing concept. Property is area, means integration. All right. So giving here f bersaga f kecil probability density function. So means this this probability belong long kot lagi memang masing-masing punya area. So our skill or our technique menjawab kita lukis. Tak boleh lukis graph kita catat interval. At least we know zero until two. This interval is for graph kx plus one. Another interval of this one. So these two region they are continuous lah. Two until three. This is two k. Zero for otherwise means other than that we don't have that probability. We don't have that area. Firstly, a find the constant k. If you want to find the missing k here, and this question already stated continuous. So the characteristic of continuous, yeah, their total probability must be equal to one. From here we can find out what is our missing k here. So to find the total probability means we're going to find its area, the total area here must be equals to 1. So the area that we can build here in the grid 0 until 2 for kx plus 1. Another region 2 until 3 for 2k dx respect to x. Then we start doing our integration. k we factorize out. Then we having x here, x power 2, power tambah 1 over power baru. In the grid constant, dapat x. Upper limit 2, lower limit kosong. In the grid constant 2k, dapat 2kx. Upper limit 3, lower limit 2. Then kita substitute upper limit minus lower limit. 2 square over 2 plus 2. Minus 0. Then this one. 2k times 3 minus 2k times 2. So how many k here? So we can see this is 2, 2 plus 2, 4k. Meanwhile this one, 6 minus 4, also getting 2k. Finally we have 6k. Therefore we finding k is 1 over 6. So once we get this k1 over 6, we put back to our function here, we know this is 1 over 6. So 2 times 1 over 6, this one we get 1 over 3. Then question B. Sketch the probability density function, means sketch this graph. Alright, sketch this graph. Okay, so S S C will be our random variable. So this one just our catatan saja. When you sketch two, you follow the scale zero, one, two, three. So Y S C is our function from zero to two. We are going to draw this piecewise function. So we use that same one piece y function concept. For this piece, it's a linear function. For this piece, it's a constant. So how do you draw? You need to find your starting point. When x is 0, what's your coordinate? You get 1 over 6. What's your ending point for this part? When x is 2, 1 over 2. Then only we can know. 
how high your your graph here so we need 1 over 6 so 1 over 6 2 over 6 3 over 6 1 over 2 so for the first one 1 over 6 included or not included this point this coordinate is included so 10 circle for 2 not included so it will be and this and this circle how to join these two points it is a linear graph means using straight line then we go for another piece here another piece line function where x equals to 2 it is 1 over 3 included when x equals to 3 also included so you can read here s for x equals to 2 y is 1 over 3 when x equals to 3 y is 1 over 3 so 1 over 3 is a constant graph straight line horizontal so lastly label your graph this is our probability density function <coughs> Then continue for question C, finding the probability in between 1.5 and 2.5. So finding probability means finding your region starting from 1.5, means here, okay, like this, 1.5 until 2.5 so you can see the graph is different their region is changing or you look at here 1.5 here 2.5 here so your region will be in the grid from 1.5 until until 2 for the first piece 1.5 until 2 for the first piece 1 over 6 x plus 1 Continue another region 2 up to 2.5. 2 up to 2.5 for the region function 1 over 3. Alright, so you can factorize out the constant, then you integrate x, you get x squared over 2, you integrate 1, you get x, upper limit 2, lower limit 1.5. So write out your step only. Then perform the step where upper limit minus lower limit. Then figure out for the answer. <coughs> so you don't misunderstand that I say equal not equal is not important. It is for us to find the region equal or not equal is not important. But when you're doing the graph, the coordinate in or not, you have to very clear. Okay? So, jangan confuse kata, miss kata, tak equal, equal, tak equal, tak ada kaitan, tak. Lukis graph masih lagi, macam same satu. Ada include, kita kena hitam. Tak ada include, kosong. Empty circle. So, yang ada equal, tak ada equal, ialah masa mak cari probability. So, kalau soalan, dia tukar like this, same. Same working. Or like this, same working. Alright? Or like this, still same working. So this is what we mean. When you want to find the region equal or not, uh, they will be having the same region. 
So that's why they're having the same integration. Okay, so for question D, more than 1.8. So for this, okay, 1.8, I refer back. If 1.8, 1.8, lah, betul. 1.8 sini lah betul. More than 1.8 semua kawasan sini lah betul. Oh, banyaknya. You nak buat 1.8 until 2. Then 2 until 3. Correct? So in other words, you can look it simple. Overall is 1. Why not just 1 minus minus here. 0 until 1.8. Then you can get the whole piece at the back there. 1.8 until 3. Alright, so for more than 1.8, we move it simple. We just 1 minus 0 until 1.8. Kita tolak lah kawasan sebelum dia. So function dia, 1 over 6, x plus 1. Don't forget write your dx. Factorize your constant in the big x, x squared plus x squared over 2. Integrate 1, x. Then we just write up clearly upper limit minus lower limit zero. 